What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Rosalie. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know that I went to Hong Kong and Japan earlier this month and I got a bunch of makeup and fashion items that I want to share with you guys. So let's get started. First item I got is this eyebrow pencil. If you have been watching me on YouTube for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite brow products. Um, this is the newborn eye pencil. It's the three-in-one. You have the powder in the middle, you have a spoolie at the end, and a pencil on the other end. I got the color in B6, which is... Mm, I think this is a light cool tone brown color. Next item I got here is the Kiss Me Heavy Rotation Coloring Eyebrow. It's like a brow tint. I've seen people use this online and I'm very curious. Basically it has a spoolie like a mascara brush like this and then I guess you just coat your brows in the products. So yeah. Then I have a eyeliner which is also one of my favorite that I used to use all the time. Um, it's also by Kiss Me. It's a brush tip eyeliner pen. It's a dark brown color. So I'm gonna do a swatch on my hand so you can see the color. So it's like this. I personally prefer Japanese eyeliners over the American ones because they're very very long lasting, they don't smudge, they just stay in place for the whole day which is really good. Next up I have is another black eyeliner. This is by Koji Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner. It's waterproof and it says super black at the back. Yeah, the ink is very dark and I really like how precise this can get. Let's hope it lasts for a long time because my experience with the Japanese eyeliners are they usually don't last for long. They dry out pretty fast. That's my only problem. Other than that, they perform really well. I also got this mascara that I know nothing about um, because it's all in Japanese and I don't know what's going on. But at the back, it has a illustration of an eye and it goes like this. So I assume that it uh, is a very volumizing and lengthening mascara. And apparently it's also waterproof, I believe, and it has five stars here. So that gotta be good, right? So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. So when I was in Hong Kong, I went to Stanada and I got three of these 3CE makeup items. I never tried them before. I'm very excited to try them because I've seen them on YouTube all the time and I just never got my hands on them. The first thing I have here is a compact powder. It was recommended by one of the girls who works there. It's their new products. The package looks like this. And when you open it, it has a little sponge. And then underneath it, you have the powder. It's supposed to act as a blotting powder. So it's great for touching up your makeup. It has a slight pink tint to it. So it's very natural. It smooths and blur out your pores. And I love how small and compact this is because it's really great for your purse. I have a blush here. Oh, it's in the color mono pink. It's a very light rosy mauve pink. So it's very subtle and I really like how it looks on the skin. And the packaging matches the products. So I think it looks really pretty. I also got a lip color. This is the color 218 Mirror Like. It's also a mauve pink color which matches blush I have, maybe a little bit darker. It is a matte finish. 
and I love how they matches the packaging with the product itself so it looks very seamless next item I have here is a pack of false lashes it is by the brand Luminous Change. It has this crisscross style. Um, we'll see how it looks. Next product I have here is a skincare product. It is by the brand Curio Curel. It is their intensive moisture cream. It is a face cream for sensitive skin. It is quite popular in Japan at the moment. So I bought it and wanted to try it out because I live in Canada, it's very dry and cold in the winter. I need something that, ha that has a lot of moisture to it. It doesn't feel very heavy, which is good. Next up I have here is a face wash. I literally just picked it up from the Japanese grocery stores. It says AHA Cleansing Research at the front and it says something number one here. So pretty much I picked it up because of that. I also picked up one of these eye wash. It's really great to use these when you wear makeup because sometimes when you take off your makeup, the makeup remover and the rest do kind of get into your eyes. So it's great if you can wash your eyes with an eye wash afterwards by the brand Lychee. I've used one of their eye drops before. I, it was pretty good, so I decided to try this one out. The last two items I have here is from, it's just, miscellaneous products. I have one of those bath sponge. I have that and I bought one of these brush cleaning containers. This one looks interesting. So basically it's like a box and then you take the lid off and it has a brush holder here and the other part you can put soap and water in and then it has this contraption that you can you know swirl your brush on it and get rid of the makeup and then afterwards you put it on the brush holder so that's all the beauty related products i have and next i'm gonna show you all the clothing i got quite a few fall slash winter clothing because you know i live in canada it's cold in here i can't wear t-shirts all around the year although I wish I could let's start with the lightest I have a black blouse it looks like this it's kind of like a cropped blouse it only hits my belly button it has a bell sleeve like this and it is cinched a little bit at the back next up I have here is also a cropped top which is this black sweater it has wide sleeves which is very popular for this year I think I also got another sweater in white which is kind of similar to the black one but um, it's also cropped and it has a wide sleeves but it is cinched at the cuff it's just one of those basic white sweaters that you can layer under jackets. Next up I have a matching set which is a blazer top and a skirt. I was going to get the pants but the pants fits too short on me so. so the blazer looks like this. It's kind of oversized. It has this gray plaid going on and the skirt is a high-waisted mini skirt. Next item I have here is a pink shirling biker jacket i really like this one i think it looks really cute and i love how it has the white shirling inside it's gonna keep me really warm it is from pull and bear next piece of clothing i have here is this camel color wool jacket with a hood i don't have any jacket that's in this color and i have been looking for one for a long time so when i saw this one in uniqlo hong kong and i just got it right away because it's just perfect it's in the perfect length and it has pockets which is very important and i love how it's like a creamy white color inside which goes really well with the camel color so yeah 
last but not least, I got a pair of sweatpants from Uniqlo. It is probably one of the softest sweatpants that I ever have. Um, it has this really nice kind of like a fleece lined. Not really like a fleece, I would say. It's more like a fuzzy, furish lined. I don't know. Um, anyways, I got it in this cream color. It's very, very comfortable. And I'm very excited to wear them when I go walk the dogs in the winter. Oh, I also got some jewelries. I got these really cute earrings from a silver store. And it's very minimal and dainty looking. So I got two necklaces. I'm wearing one right now. It's very dainty looking. I really like how these like small jewelries looks. I got it in both rose gold and silver because I can't decide. So that's everything I got for my trip. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!